if you please, I was hoping you might tell me of the Cloak and Ring's origin. The old woman closes her eyes as if the memory she seeks is painful to her senses. They were my husband. He was a proud man. The last of his line. His family had been rich. Okay. A great deal of old money, you might say. They lived in that castle you might have seen to the north. Mm. Its location upon that island is evidence of how much they valued their privacy. He was a good man, my husband. He took care of me. Certainly he had his strange habits. Most men do, if you will pardon me for saying so. Mm. I suspect that he practiced magic, mm. so I could never catch him in the act. the act. He would frequently journey afar, taking that black cloak with him wherever he went, to places he would not talk about. He said that it represented something important to a certain group of people and that I was never to mention it to anyone. But he was always there for me, always, until that fateful night. Uh-oh. We had been married just over a year and I was heavy with child. Mm. We were both out walking in the weirwood forest late one night. The air was warm, and in our youth we paid little attention to the world and its many dangers. Besides, there was a full moon. We could see clearly enough. A shadow uh -oh. passed over us. We looked up, thinking it might have been a stray box. cloud. It was not. Descending upon us like a demon was the largest, most hideous bat I had ever seen. Ugh. Its fangs were bared and it dove straight for me. I must have screamed. My husband flung himself in front of me to protect me. He swung his arms about frantically in hopes of warding the horrid thing away. Perhaps he was trying to cast a spell but could not recall how in his panic. It paid him no heed and would not be deterred. It swooped again and again relentlessly. Oh no. At one point, my Bit husband's head must have flipped the bat's wing because it lost control and crashed into his shoulder. He tried to wrest the foul creature away, but then he shrieked suddenly. The horrid thing had bitten him. Oh no. He never did recover from that incident. He just faded with each passing hour. Within two days of the attack, my husband had died. We buried him on his family's plantation on the island. Sometimes when I sleep, hmm. I can feel him watching over me, guarding me, protecting me. I think he is waiting for my time to come, so we can be together always. The old lady seems to be dozing off. You can barely hear her final words. I miss him so. Telling the story has clearly taken a great deal out of her. You watch the old woman a moment and notice her labored breathing as she sleeps. Despite the little girl's tireless daily efforts, perhaps there's nothing more to be done. Look, has fallen asleep. Watch it. Whatever she has might be catching. You get no response. It's possum sleeping. The little girl is fast asleep. So the, the picture there. It is a portrait of a young man. He looks somewhat familiar. Possum's grandma obviously values that portrait. Otherwise, it would not be hanging here. The painting on the wall looks like an artist's depiction of the Kalima landscape. You wonder who painted this. A humble fire flickers in the small fireplace. The chair. A worn armchair sits in a corner of the room. A beautiful vase is filled with pretty flowers. Possum's grandmother owns an antique table. Its carvings are lovely. Don't take the flowers. Such behavior is generally considered to be rude. Sorry about that. This is the home of Possum's grandma. It is comfortably furnished. Frilly curtains cover the windows. Flowers are in the vases. The elderly woman is lying on a wooden bed in a cloud of pillows and coverlets. 
the colorful rug appears to have been handmade. A humble fire flickers in the small fireplace. Well, time to move on. Move, move on. Meanwhile, what's going on here? Oh boy, so Sister Agatha, my dear, tell me you have good news. Something developed. The king has arrived in Kalima, father. Oh, that is not what I meant. Yes. Well, he appears to be quite resourceful. It seems his reputation was not totally exaggerated. Hmm. He's still alive. Whoa. For now. But that will change soon, I think. The king has discovered that one of the gems he seeks is in the possession of a colleague of ours. Hmm. Do you remember? Caldor. Caldor, yes. yes. Is he still trustworthy? Totally. Still sharp, and there's no questioning his loyalty. Hmm. My humblest apologies, father, but would it not have been simpler for you to have dealt with Graham personally? Ooh. Ooh. Imagine the ensuing chaos where Daventry's king murdered in his own land. How then would I be able to search for the item? Mm -hmm. I see. The item there is not an option. What's the I item? Understood, Father. Keep me informed. Preferably of Good King Graham's death. All right. The plot thickens. So we have the cape. We have a nice ring. We've helped Grandma. Get some hot chicken soup. She rewarded us, so we're gonna take a little break here, Grandma. And we'll we'll take a break from the game. We've done one, one mission. We'll continue our our hunt for the gem of death, but that'll be another day. Dost thou truly wish to cease our adventure? Because we truly believe it's our web, and we need to fix it together. So ask yourself this question. Do you want a web browser made for the internet of today? If so, try Brave. It's faster, safer, and ad-free. It's easy to support Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater. Download the Brave browser. Click on the link https colon forward slash forward slash brave.com forward slash vid 610